Hello once again YouTube. Welcome back to another great model car video. My name is Trevor and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies Online. And if you haven't checked that out, take a look at www.monster-hobbies.ca. We got a whole bunch of stuff and we can ship it worldwide. You might even find something cool. Who knows? But at any rate, today I have got myself some new model cars in order to open them up and review them on this here YouTube channel. So won't that be fun coming up? Well, got the box right down here, so I thought I would open it and show everyone what's in there. And if you want me to bring these model kits into the online store so that you can purchase them and I can ship them out to you, then let me know in the comments section down below if there's something you see and you like. Maybe I can hook you up. So in the meantime, let's take a look at these brand new models and have some fun. So here we have our box from Stevens International again, my wholesaler of choice. Right out of the USA, ship it all the way up to Canada to turn around and ship all the models back to the US for the customers. <laughs> I think I opened this box in the wrong direction. Now Stevens likes to use a lot of this brown packing tape. <laughs> so here we go. Ooh ah, I hear some ooh ahs in the audience. I think I got something here piled pretty high. I hope it doesn't fall over in the, the video in the back there. Okay, packing slip. All right. Okay, put my knife away for safety reasons. I'm gonna hit this model here. Hmm. Well, normally I would open this over on the other side of my uh, hobby room, but <laughs> that's uh, packed up with stuff. Okay, now we remove the packing paper. Oh, what do we have here? More packing paper. Okay, so I think this might be the last Stevens order I'm going to place for myself, solely for myself. I think the next one I'm gonna order stuff and put it online for sale. But at any rate, I found this at the Stevens site. Now this is 172nd scale, as you can see, but I really like this police patrol paddy wagon. Look at the wheels on there. Those are the like the big heavy duty truck wheels and it's got dual axle in the back. I mean, this thing is, as the kids would say, this thing is dope. <laughs> anyway. Panel van Ford 1939, but it's the 38 style van. I think this is, uh, well, being a World War II thing, I think this is from like a German version or something, European. Wow, take a look at these little parts, all 172nd scale. I basically got this kit so that I could recreate this, maybe using the AMT model. Wow, look at all that. That's really neat. I like that. Let's take a look at this. I think this is my first actual uh, ace model. Wow, look at this. You can build it as an ambulance. There's that police one that's on the thing. And then Lynchburg Life Saving First Aid Crew. Oh, here. QR code for you guys that uh, take pictures of QR codes and see where they go. I must buy myself a cell phone one of these days. Look at this thing, man. Heavy duty axle. Body panels, the interior. Wow, this is really awesome. <laughs> yeah, this will be fun for sure. I should do a video on my World War II uh, 70 second scale stuff. Let's take a look at the side of the box, because... Oh, okay, it's just other vans. Still, those are pretty neat, eh? Look at that one. CEO cab fuel tanker. There's a CEO cab uh, uh, stick bed truck. All right, this is from the Ukraine. So, there we are. Okay, oh, now i got to find somewhere to put this stuff down. 
<laughs> okay, I wanted to uh, try this one out. Since HPI guy, he gets big boxes like this directly from AMT, but I have to go through my wholesalers. So he gets to build this stuff like eight months before any of us do, or something like that. That's okay, because now it's going to be my turn to build this. And uh, that'll be fun. Fun! Oh, so I also got the Pontiac, and the reason for this is... You know how I'm doing that series of videos where I'm showing everyone how to build stuff for the model car contests? Well, this would be in that slammer class, same as this, or curbside even. Curbside slammer, whatever they call them. So the curbside category is models that do not have an engine. And that's what these are, skill level one entry kits. So I am thinking of bringing in a bunch of these in the future, before the year ends, over to the Monster Hobbies store. Oh, and I also got this one as well. That's a GTO. It's not the little GTO. That's this one. Actually, it's the 64 is the little GTO. <laughs> I'm tempted to make the sound. But there's the uh, 68. This one should be fun as well. It's got the tack. Hood mounted tack. And I was looking at HBI guys videos and uh, there's some neat features in these they are curbside like it says on the box but they offer like especially in the malibu has a bunch of extra parts you can use in other kits so that'll be good okay so then i got the country dodge charger now the reason i got this is because I have all the old Dukes of Hazard model kits, which is, this is basically a repop of that. But AMT did correct the roof from the original, because the original was the Daytona and it had the filled in rear window. And in this kit, they've sunken it back. So in the future, I want to do a build video of the Dukes of Hazard kit. And um, unfortunately, the Country Charger is not going to get the the regular flag on the top, I'm going to do it as a Dukes, and that's it. <laughs> that's how it's going to go. But uh, I needed the the one with the tunnel window, and this is the current one that's on the market. So we'll go with that. Oh, look, 76 for the Revolution, 1776. Again, really cool. And I found out some neat stuff about the MPC Dukes of Hazard charger that I'll share in that video when I go to build the thing later on. <clears throat> All right, so I also got myself one of these Ashleys. Now, I am selling these online, and if you buy... I've got a package where if you buy a police car, I'll give you one of these as well. Well, yeah. You're actually, you're getting this and the police car at a discount. They're tied together. So the price of this kit, price of the police car kit, but because they're tied together, I gave a discount. So look for that online. I think it's on my Shopify one, so... Anyway, and then I got this, which is the patrol car parts set. And you know, I like the Japanese style of police car. They have this little, like, V thing on the front of their car, and then black along the sides. And the reason why I like this is I had one of those um, GoBots, remember? They're sort of like a... Um, like the Transformers, but they're all a smaller scale, like a Hot Wheel size. And I had one of the police cars, and I really liked that style way back then. That was like an 80s one. I wonder if I can find them. <laughs> I never throw anything away, but yeah. Oh, because in this, there's supposed to be... Oh yeah, look at this. Okay. So there's... Uh, some clear glass for the windows, I guess. But you get... There's supposed to be handcuffs in here. So oh, that's light bar stuff. Okay, light bar stuff, light bars. Boomerang style. Oops. Boomerang light. But in here, this is where it's interesting. So there's traffic cones. You can see that. There they are. 
traffic cones, there's a riot helmet, there's radios in here, uh, whatever this thing on the triangle is. There's side view mirrors. There's supposed to be handcuffs in here somewhere. I do... Oh, I don't have my reading glasses on. <laughs> ah, all right. But it, it shows you all this in the instructions. <clears throat> all right. Woo. Come on back. I've got this box sitting on a stool and it's getting tippy here. <laughs> I bet when I take my next model out, something's going to fall. Okay, where is it here? Oh, it's, um, that thing is a, I don't know what do you call that? Photo radar on a tripod. There's a police baton, button, and then there's the handcuffs there. And I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a book or something. But yeah, so there's some extra goodies. I can add these light bars onto anything I want. Put them on a 61 <laughs> Dodge Polara. No, that would be wrong, wouldn't it? You need the bubblegum ones, which would be kind of cool. Okay, let's see if I can balance this box up. So then my officer Ashley can be driving this brand new 2021 Dodge Charger Pursuit Police Car. The reason why I got this is I don't have very many of the brand new kits, brand new cars. So I thought this might be interesting to build. How about you? Do you want to build something like this? Let me know in the comments. I'll bring it in. Now I know a lot of you will want to build something like this. The Aqua Rod. And that's why I got it. I got my battery flashing here. Yeah. Coolsville. So that. All right. Had to change the batteries. That's okay. All right. Let's let's take a look at this a little bit better then. So look at that. You got a Ford 427 big block motor in here, with the. Uh, ooh, that's a real fancy one. Aqua Aqua Rod boat engine Ford 427 overhead cam. That's a drag race option. Then you can also do these ski option. Okay, but you got a tricarb indu induction, and then the van has a V8 engine. How about put this in the van and put this in the boat? <laughs> this is cool. I like that. See, I want to do a diorama that's like a big beach scene and everything, or a lake scene or something, camping. Features unreleased 1975 catalog and decals. Oh, that'll be cool. That'll be cool. <laughs> Okay, and then I got this stuff here. So, where did I put my pocket knife? Oh, I got my uh, father-in-law's pocket knife here. Ah, my pocket knife's in my pocket. Well, let's use this. I already reached across. Reached in front of everybody, you know, like at the dinner table. How rude. How totally rude. <laughs> All right, what did I get? See, when you order something, unless you make a copy of it before it goes out, they, uh, <laughs> when they process the order, they just delete whatever it was. So you, <laughs> afterwards, you can't be like, oh, uh, what was that? Oh, yes. So I got some flocking material. Because in the contest thing, you're allowed to use flocking. So I thought I would get some. So here is some orange. Some of it's actually outside of that. Uh, there we go. <laughs> For now. Oh, one of them opened. Oh no! Okay, I got a black one. And then this other color is supposed to be... Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's supposed to be in the container. Okay, what's going on? That is supposed to be like the old... Uh, what do they call that? I was going to say tweed, but it's not right. Okay, what does it say here? This is fuzzy fur. But this is supposed to be like the original upholstery in like a 40 Ford or something. I use that cheap kind of stuff. Oh, I hate to do this. <laughs> I hope that didn't just stick on the camera lens. 
um, can't remember what it's called, but that's what that stuff's supposed to be. Okay, and then I got some Slicks decals. Now this is so I can finish that 1969 Ford Cobra kit that I'm having so many problems with, because back in the day, AMT never put decals in it. Oh, I need eight. I need the number eight. <laughs> okay, so I got these gold ones. And those are numbers I could use. And then I got these little ones. And unfortunately, those numbers are not the same. May oh, I could put down 426. And then with a little, uh, it won't look right. Eight's got to go in like that. I was thinking I could just turn a six into an eight. Hmm, I don't know. I'll have to see. Maybe I can freehand it somehow. But at any rate, these can be for that cool looking Ford, which just happens to be right over here. So just a sec. Imagine the possibilities of something like that. Let's see these numbers here. Oh, it's going to work. It's going to look good. There you go, number 12. But I can see that it's going to fit in that door. So yeah, this will be good. So let's see. One. Oh, two for the sides. One for the roof. 427. Ugh. 428. It's Cobra Jet, man. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, that, that'll look good. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, look forward to these videos coming out in the future. I know I still have some videos of stuff that I did. See, what happened is I was going to make videos of just me unboxing all this stuff. And then everyone's like, oh, you got to up your game and, uh, you know, make it better. So then I got into making these video essays where I'm teaching like the whole history. Like, you know, this police pursuit car is brand new from Dodge. And when you go to the Dodge factory, this is how they build it. And then I built the model. Well, that's very time consuming. <laughs> and, uh, all of a sudden, whatever I was going to do for those projects, the time just went zoop, and disappeared. And now we're all into September. And I got those kits at the beginning of the year to crack them all open and have it all done by March, you know. But uh, now we're at the end here of the year, pretty much. Maybe I should just crack them all open and work like a madman, <clears throat> get it all done. So there's Ashley and there's the police car. They'll look pretty good together, I think. All right, so that's it for this video. Like, subscribe, share, all that stuff, and check out our models at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And if you like any of these in the video, maybe even this thing, if you've got the patience for something so small, let me know in the comments, and uh, we'll see if I can hook you up. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the future.